this may already be the only video in my channel that is not click based. Okay, so how do you use replay mod? Here's the tutorial. Yay! I may sound like I want to kill myself because I just came back from school. So first of all, if you want to use replay mod, you have to install another thing called FFM pack. I think that's what it's called. And I won't teach you how to install that in this video because um first of all I'm lazy. Secondly there there's an, already another person who have made a video about um, how to install it and I I just watched that video to learn how to install it so you can just learn, watch that video and you will know how to install it. So now I will teach you how to use replay more straight ahead. First um as as you can guess you have to and put replay mode into your mod folder. Okay, so um, when you got replay mode into your mod folder, you can then start to uh, get some clip. And um, like it works in both single player and multiplayer. Okay, so I got a clip there, so I can just disconnect. Then when you go to replay viewer. You see the replay, yay! So when you enter the replay, you see a bunch of things that you may, may don't understand. It's too live. What what does it mean? And there's a lot of buttons. What, what is this? Um. Okay. Let me teach you one by one. Okay. So um, if you maybe you you you, you want to get um a clip, uh, like at the end. Of the whole thing, when I um, got a combo, and um, I'll go there. Then you load to that place. If if for some reason sometimes you you'll be like um in, in nowhere, then you have to go to play overview, and then you press into yourself. Then you teleport to yourself, but you you won't be able to move your head. You have to press escape, then you can move your head. Then the next thing is that you sometimes you see people like flying around like wee, wee, and then just like that. How do you do it? Actually it's pretty simple. Maybe you want to go from here to here. You just go to your original the first position first and press add position keyframe. Then this is actually the timeline of the replay that you are going to export and uh, maybe you want it to be 10 seconds Then you go to here that, that means the, the final position and then press add position keyframe again Then you when you go out you see the path When you hold the yellow thing you see the camera path that, where the camera will go and then when you want to try you can't try because you said that you need two position keyframes which you already had but you need two time keyframes too so how does time keyframe works it may seem a bit complicated but actually it's really simple so the time how does the time keyframe works first you add a time keyframe to the start play again Maybe to here to replay. Then you add another time keyframe. Then when you play it, okay, it, it, it is a bit like this because it's easy to fix. You can just go back to here and then just add a random position keyframe and time keyframe. You you can just ignore this 3 second, you can just cut it when you export the, the video what is important is this part and you don't want to ruin it if you didn't do this and you just put it here then when the clip starts the scheme might but might not like render and you'll be stiff and stiff is ugly we all hate stiff you all stiff therefore just, just kidding um, so uh, then when you play it, it'll be like this. 
I don't know how to describe it, but you can just look at it and you might actually understand. It's just like a keyframe, but it's like a time version. Uh, actually, you don't have to uh, put the time keyframe exactly under the position keyframe. You can just put it here or put it like here, it will still, still work. The most important thing you have to know is that the position keyframe and the time keyframe is completely separate. If you still don't understand, I, I, I should phrase it this way. It's like when you play it, the yellow thing will just like follow the timeline and go from left to right. When you go here, the camera will be at this position. And when the yellow thing, I don't know what does it call, go here, the camera will be at this position. And when it go here, it will be at this position. This is easy to understand. And time keyframe is the same like, like the same way. When the yellow thing go to here exactly at the time keyframe. Actually every time keyframe is represent is representing one time. Like one one exact time in the in this timeline. I think you can understand now. If you can't understand, go away. I can't help you. Now the next thing is maybe sometimes you can see those cinematic server trailer, you just go around and sometimes the whole camera will be tilted like maybe um, 45 degree. Actually, you can just do it like this. I think the preset is not J and L, but you can check the preset here. It's actually the here, row, row clockwise and row counterclockwise. Maybe you want to like go around here. Normally you just um, like also if you add two time keyframe at the same time you will just be a frozen scene like this. So uh, maybe I want to do it like this. And there will be something like this to pass. Okay, so I've made this and it'll be it looks something like this. Then if you want to make it better, you just go uh, also also if you want to go to the position of the camera, you go to this um you point at this position keyframe and then right click, then you go to this position keyframe. And you want to modify it, it's pretty simple, you just click on it and then you see the red. The position keyframe is red because you want to, you can remove it and you press remove. Let's, let's remove. Okay. So you want to make it tilt, maybe like this, and then this also. Maybe back. This. Maybe tilt like this. There will be something like this. Yeah, it, it looks okay. All right now you have you know how to make the scene. Then uh, there's one thing that is really really important, which is the open keyframe presets. Which when you press it, you see this thing with nothing. But actually, you can press the save as. I normally just call it save one because I'm too lazy. But you should just call it something else. Maybe in this scene it's just um, sumo 1v1. You just um, leave it and sumo 1v1. Because if if there's too much keyframe preset, you you won't you have to try each one of them and is you you waste a lot of time. Actually, what it does saving a uh, preset is that um. Normally, when you exit the replay, everything is lost. Like, um, I'll try once and come back in. See nothing. You won't be able to get that back. Like maybe when you your your, your Minecraft crash, which occurs to me like a thousand times, and I lost maybe a few replay. I have to make 
make the replay over again so you can just press load then it's back the 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 um, replay that I've recorded but it's a bit buggy because the two time frame is the same which I don't advise to do that because it's first of all the two person will be like bug secondly the key particle will just grow there and so not natural and it's so ugly so I advise you every time you made a scene open your keyframe um, preset and then save and after you fin you actually finish finish a, a whole scene you can just render the camera path and this these are the re render things um, I'm not particularly good at this because I only use two um, I, I usually just use two to render default quality which in my opinion is I, I don't really use it when I make montages because I usually use high quality although it will be a very big file but it's a lot better than the default quality and then you make you can custom your resolution your frame rate up to 120 actually 60 is already enough I don't know why you do 120 maybe you are dumbo and then you force that you took can okay whatever and um, also there's other things like render name name tags I usually don't take it because I hate name tags um, actually you can add it too but it's just if you like it you add it if you don't like it you don't add it it's up to you and the chroma keying is basically the green screen effect which you won't be using unless you need it and you may want to ask what will happen if I add chroma key will it like make the green thing every green thing go away or, or what it actually like um, let us see. and if you like turn on chroma keying and you render it you just make all the sky the void and the sky become green okay so now the render if uh, every every setting is correct okay remember every time check this check that uh, if you don't do not need the kuma keying you have to check that you didn't didn't take it because or else you'll be disaster this one time when I forgot to take it and I forgot to prefill when it rendered and then at last when I rendered like four or five clip and then I found that I used chroma keying and of course I'm too lazy to save preset for some reason it's actually really simple I just click on one button then I have to make all of those scenes over again and it, it triggered me so hard okay so when, when you press render you'll be something like this remember to press show preview once and then go back so now you have to wait it to render then it's basically done and um, one thing i want to note that is that um you can actually change the pack and it will still work and if you really want to make your replay more fancy, you can actually use shaders too and it will still work. And see, the shaders still work. But you may notice that um, the water is broken. Actually, how to solve it is that go to your mod folder. When you go to the mod folder, you see a bunch of mods. And once when I just uh, put away all these all these mods that that is not optifying and replay mods, it suddenly worked. The water came back. I still didn't know which mod caused this, and I'm not planning to find out. And you can now launch Minecraft again, and you launch Minecraft again with only replay mod and optifying. Now when you turn on the shader. 
the water will work and it's working fine and then if everything is done you can just render it all of the settings is correct home marking is an on the name tag I don't want it so I didn't take it and I want it default quality and I and I check everything it's all correct and you can render it it's pretty simple to be honest I don't even know why people don't know how to use this anymore no offense by the way and so and you can check the replay is too steep guy again because it's a frozen frame which I said again I don't recommend you doing this because it's so ugly so when you go to your replay videos file you see the replay that you've got and you play it it's just good there's another thing I want to show you and um, actually there's like um, a guy and that been like someone asking me how do I do this scene in my montage and um, I will just simulate it once and maybe when I was like um, standing here and we play more it then maybe you want to transit it into like this and then you just go to the first replay and then yeah remember not to show the the grass because actually what I'm doing is just cut from here and then you just you you look ugly so just don't show the leaf the, the grass and then you can just you see I just go from here and then when I go through the wood you become another scene um, first I have to make a position keyframe and a time keyframe here and then I go here which is the finished part is the end position I'll go here and I want it like 10 seconds then the next thing I'll do is um, I will this 10 seconds and I will play the replay 10 for like 10 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok apparently I don't have 10 seconds here so I'll just make it 7 seconds and no one will notice it anyway so here is the replay and I will add a shader to it because why not also I will add also I will add a texture pack to it because default is ugly and I got all the things I'm not going to use my texture pack because I don't know why I don't know why but my texture pack crashes replay more I'm actually a bit proud of it I don't know why okay I will just render it and default it. Okay, 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 all oh, things good. Render. Okay, apparently I need like one minute. So I'll just skip this part. Maybe like this. The same, the same 10 seconds, I think. And that would. And it's, 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 it does have 10 seconds, so I will just pretend it's 10 seconds and one will power anyway. And I have to say the BSL and then it's very bright I'll just render it ok now you got the two clip and then you just put it in Vegas you um, go to crop and then find the place where the another side will start this side up here Maybe like um, here. Add a keyframe first. Then um, you go to the last place where you can see the wood and just um, you don't have to make it perfect because people won't be able to see what happened <laughs> anyway. Um, so you 
go to the next one. And then um, when you are done with this, you will have to first of all turn off this because you want to make it extremely big. Just so you can you can include this oh I think that's something. Okay. And this you have to turn off this too because you don't want this side to extend to and then when you go out you be something like this to try to read. what you have to do is that you have to turn the stretch to feel to know then when you move this it be something like this then when you you are just speed to uh, turn it already it's already correct so you will have this And this is the end of the tutorial. Bye.